So you've taken the plunge and handed over your life savings for an iPad 2. The question is, what do you do now? Well, you buy some games, of course. We've rounded up five of our favorite titles from the App Store, so you'll have plenty to keep you occupied on your morning commute. If you're eager to show off the technical prowess of your shiny new iPad 2, Nova 2 is the game to go for. Featuring crisp visuals and a Halo-esque sci-fi theme, Nova 2 is an intense first-person shooter. It makes use of the iPad 2's gyroscope, allowing you to navigate and aim by moving the device around. If that's not your thing, more conventional on-screen controls are available, and you can also take the fight to others with up to nine players online across five different modes. Nova 2 is available on the App Store for £3.99. If you're after something a little more sedate, Jenga is a touchscreen-powered remake of the classic wooden party game. Each player takes turns removing blocks from a tall tower by dragging their finger across the screen, placing the blocks on top afterwards. Steady hands are required. If you pull too quickly, the tower comes tumbling down. You can also make use of the iPad 2's gyroscope to rotate around the board, and best of all, there's no cleanup required. All yours for 59p. No app list would be complete without some Angry Birds. While little has changed from previous versions, you're rescuing birds, not destroying pigs, the gameplay is addictive as ever. With 60 levels, new achievements and hidden fruit to discover, there's plenty of content to explore and more updates are promised throughout 2011, all for the princely sum of £1.79. iOS devices are famous for their range of physics-based puzzlers, with the latest addition being the painfully cute Lander Panda. The aim is to get your panda back to his lonely panda girlfriend while collecting coins and traversing obstacles such as spikes and steel blocks. You launch your panda into the air using cannons, with precise, timely tapping required to make it to the end of the level. The Japanese-style visuals are utterly charming, with a great soundtrack and adorable sound effects just adding to the fun. You can start launching your own pandas for £1.19. Combining elements from classic adventure games such as Zelda, Ico, and Prince of Persia with 8-bit visuals and a killer soundtrack, Super Brothers Sword and Sorcery EP is one of the most unique and engrossing games on the iPad. It's part interactive art piece and part 8-bit adventuring, taking advantage of the unique features of the iPad platform. You play as a wandering warrior monk who's traversing a mythical realm. As you make your way through lush 8-bit forests and up rocky mountain roads, you solve a number of musical mysteries and encounter off-the-wall characters, each with their own unique take on the world you're exploring. What makes the game so appealing is how it taps into your childlike curiosity, encouraging you to poke, stroke and rotate the screen to unlock the secrets of the realm. You're never told what to do or held by the hand during puzzles and are instead invited to experiment with the touchscreen, listen to the soothing music and relax. If you get stuck, Twitter is fully integrated, allowing you to tweet lines of the brilliantly written tongue-in-cheek dialogue to the world. Also great are the stylish 8-bit visuals. While they might not take full advantage of the iPad 2's new speedy GPU, they're absolutely charming. Without all manner of high-tech wizardry, there's, shock horror, more room to use your imagination, making the game world uniquely your own. Super Brothers Sword and Sorcery EP is available on the App Store for £2.99.